Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it has been quite a minute since I filmed. Um, I do do my makeup uh, pretty much every day just because I feel like it keeps me going. It gives me a better outlook on my day, feel better about myself, etc, etc, and all that good stuff. Anyway, so today I wanted to come on here because I did get the MAC Selena collection that I pre-ordered weeks ago and um, so I did the pre-order I can't remember it was back in was it uh, March I think I don't know but I did the pre-order and they just released the actual orders on Thursday was it Thursday Anyways, I got my order super, super quick. Um, I mean like FedEx quick. I, it was like one day uh, shipping, I believe. I, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. Um, I do have most of the pieces of the old Selena collection. Um, I don't know <clears throat> what happened to the rest, but I don't. I do know that I bought the lip gloss, the the Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb one, or is it just Bitty Bitty? Anyway, I bought it again in this collection. I can't find my old one to compare it, but I know I have it and I keep these as collector pieces. But when I moved over into my beauty room, I, I don't know where. I looked for it, gave up. I know I have it. But you can look it up online. Most of the packaging was purple like that. This is the <clears throat> Techno Q. Okay, I don't speak Spanish, so forgive me. Cumbia, Cumbia, Cumbia Matte Powder Blush. And it's bronzer as well. So I don't know why it's such a hard pan, but turn it right side up where it, where it says Selena it was like this when I opened it and then see so you have the bronzer you have the blush and then when you swatch this it's really weird I don't know if it's because it's getting old but anyways I'm gonna have to clean that up I did use this today like I gouged my brush on it but, um, and I did use the blush over a uh, liquid blush. So it kind of brought it out a little more because that's a really, really light blush. The old collection also had, I believe, six individual eyeshadows. And I have <clears throat> four of them. I don't know why I only have four. I, I have no clue. But th this collection came out about, and I'm guessing about four or five years ago. And so I have Missing My Baby, which is kind of like a neutral, you know, like a brow bone shade. I have Is It The Beat, which is a, a black. Then I have No Me Cueto Moss. I'm trying here, so, you know. Uh, neutral brown then we have Selena and it is a beautiful gorgeous purple very pigmented too so I have those four and then I have three lipsticks and when I looked it up it only showed three lipsticks so I must have got the all of the lipsticks um, it did show a mini brush and I believe I got that as well Again, I can't find it. I am not. I'm just not going to search. It's flipping hot and I'm just not in the mood. So here is the cases of the older ones. Again, they're all purple themed and a lot of the lipsticks were red themed. So this one is, if I can read it, and no, I don't have my glasses with me. Como La Flor. And this one is Amour. This is a neutral. Got a lot of use out of these, especially the neutral. 
Uh, and this one is Dreaming of You. I love the names. I love her movie. Uh, what happened is absolutely horrific. This is a deep, deep red, but I'm obsessed with her story and her movie. So that is what I have from the old collection. I know, I know I got the brush. God, I wish I could find it because it's a beautiful brush. It is a mini though. It's a smaller, smaller brush. Now for the new stuff. So this time they came out. This is like the 25th year anniversary um, of what happened. Um, I don't, I didn't really backtrack on the whole story, but um, that I know it's 25th anniversary. So this is the outside packaging. I've got to keep that. That it is stunning and you can feel it kind of, you know, raised right here. And they, all the pieces have the same kind of packaging. This is the palette. It is cardboard. And then these are like raised beads. Really pretty. It's kind of meant to look like her um, famous bra she wore with the, the beaded bra. Really pretty. And then it has this in it. Then it has a picture of her, which is stunning. It does have a mirror. And then it has eight shades. And I'm going to swatch some of these shades. Um, none of these are repeats because they all have their own name. Like, Muy Excited, Te Amo, Captive Heart. Um, as far as I know, none of these are repeats. It's a Texas thing. So they have Dazzle Shadows in here, which uh, this one I believe is a Dazzle Shadow, but I could be wrong. But you have one, two, three, four, five, five mats, and then you have like a um, shimmer here. And I'll swatch this so pretty. And then you have, this might be the Dazzle Shadow. It is real like crumbly but it goes on so beautiful, so pretty. I love that shade right there. Oh, it's stunning. And then you have, it's hard to read like which one goes to which because on the back it is that small and the way they have it written out is, is ridiculous. And then you have this shade right here, which is a shimmer. And we'll go right here. And that one's super, super pigmented too. So, I mean, they're really, really pigmented. Here's a deep matte. This one skipped a little bit on the lid, but it worked out really well. Just had to work with it a little bit more. Anyways, so I believe this uh, palette retailed for 35. I have to say that it is a cardboard. It has a magnetic closure. Um, I think that if they would have gone maybe plastic with it, it would have felt a little more worth the money. I'm not saying it's not worth the money, but I'm just saying it's a really small, just cardboard palette. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it, but again, I'm not saying it's cheap. I'm just saying, compared to, it's a small palette. It's really tiny. This is a Zoeva, and there's that. So it's like half, a little more than half. And for the price, I just think that the packaging could have been done better. But the eyeshadows do perform, and they are stunning. So that is the main part for me. So I am very happy with it. I am very happy I bought the palette and it is still available online. I did look. And then um, a lot of these items, if you go to Nordstrom, they're all available. So just keep that in mind. Then here is the highlighter. This is the outer packaging. This is in La, La Lainda. I'm, I'm packing the names, I'm sorry but I'm trying. 
Same exact packaging as the raised like beaded type. And then it is cardboard. You open it. It does have, I love how they inserted this. And then it has a little mirror. And here is the highlighter. This is stunning. You will see this imprint on several other highlighters. Um, right now, Makeup Revolution has a bunch of them. Um, just, oh, and then, uh, what was it? Oh my gosh, now I have to find out. It was um, not, it wasn't Makeup Revolution, uh, Makeup Forever, I think. She, there was a collab and I want to find it because I want to compare it. Here we go, it's right here. It is by, oh, Smashbox times Flotta. So even the outer packaging on this had it and it's embossed it's like gorgeous then inside here's that so you're gonna find these replicated over and over this is 37 this was probably about the same price you can find these on clearance now I see these all over the place on clearance so if you're buying it just because of the floral print look around but if you're buying it for the Selena which I'm a collector um this is stunning. Now, it did get a bit of hard pan and I've only used it once. I don't know if it's an overspray. I keep, I've been rubbing my finger around it to see if it is, if it's gonna like turn into nothingness, kind of like the ones during the holidays, which I did not buy. Was it this holiday? I think it was. But it's really, really pretty. And it looks really gold, but then when you blend it out, it can go for like almost any skin tone because if you don't blend it out that much, it can go on a deeper skin tone. But if you blend it out quite a bit, it can go on a lighter skin tone. I'm kind of medium and I love it. I absolutely love it. And yes, the rose is going to get a little bit used, but it's gorgeous and I am going to use it because... So I bought it. Uh, this is currently sold out on the MAC website, but go to Nordstrom. Um, I got one lip gloss. I got the Bitty, Bitty Bitty lip gloss. Uh, and here is the packaging for that. And I believe these were eighteen fifty. dollars um, I think the older one had like a purple lid or something, but I really liked it. It smells really, really good. It's like a, just a slight sweet smell. And this is what I'm wearing right now. Lately, I've been wearing like flat out lip gloss, not, or lip gloss, whatever. Not even a lip liner because I'm not really touching up because I'm not going anywhere. But anyways, gorgeous. There is some shimmer in it. They have two other lip glosses, lip glass, whatever you want to call it. I did not buy because for the life of me, when I buy lip glosses and I use them, they all look the same. When they first go on, they might have a, t a tint, just a tint of color, but it goes away and they all look the same. So I didn't want to buy any more. However, I didn't want to try this formula because I've never tried it before. This is the color Big Bertha and is a retro matte liquid lip color. These were, I think, 23, which is really, for me, a little bit up there for MAC. They like to raise the prices when they're doing collabs, but I guess everybody does that. And here is the color. Let me swatch this. You're really not going to see much, but I'll swatch it anyway. It's really pretty and it's not sticky at all. There's a slight pink, just slight pink shimmer. There's a little bit of glitter, but you don't feel it on your lips at all. This is a liquid matte. I did try it on with this look, but it didn't quite fit the look. It was too dark for it. But this is like a neutral color. I will definitely, definitely use. They have two other colors. They're all currently sold out on matte. Go to Nordstrom. I didn't see these on Nordstrom, but just check Nordstrom. 
while we're on the lip section, I did get um, three of the lipsticks in the bullets. Um, I did not buy the red one because I don't think I look good in red lipstick. No matter what I do, I will wear it like one of the ones I have once in a while if it goes with the look, but I just don't like I don't go for them. I don't grab for them. This is the Amplified Cream in the color Lorena. And I will show you. Here is the bullet. Very, very pretty. And then here is, it's a, a deep brown. I'm going to swatch it right here. Oh, wow, it doesn't, it's not as deep as it looks. Probably because it's amplified. But that would look really good with like a really, it's a bad place to swatch. Anyways, with like a really light lip, uh, lip liner. Then I got, and these were I believe 20. This is the shade. Oh God, I should be wearing my glasses. Um, Indolvable. In, in all vetable. I'm hacking that. But anyways, um, this is a frost liquid lips or frost bullet lipstick, same kind of bullet. And then here is the color, and this is gorgeous. This is like a rose tone shade. Now these you're gonna have to reapply because this is an amplified. This is a frost. They're not gonna be matte, which right now I'm going for anyways because my lips are really really dry. I don't know why. Then the color that I was gonna wear, but I took it off, is a cream sheen. And this is Selena Vibe. And this is a really nice nude color as well. And some of these are still in stock. Um, they have a red one, a red one that's still in stock. Oh, and these also all have this beautiful rose imprint. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. Really, really pretty. So all of the bullet lipsticks have that. Um, so three out of four of these, I think, are in stock on the MAC website. And then on Nordstrom, they are all in stock. I believe those are 20. And then uh, all the lip glasses are in stock in Nordstrom. I debated on getting the other two. I'm like, stop it. Not right now, it's a bad time. Um, they had two lip liners. <clears throat> and this is in the shade Entire A Mi Mundo. I'm, I'm probably really hacking that. Entre A Mi Mundo. Anyways, here's the packaging. This is like a nude lip liner. It's really pretty. Very, very creamy. So these you have to sharpen. But I have to say, I've had a lot of MAC lip liners, and they're usually really dry. And these are super, super creamy. I really like them a lot. And this is the packaging. All the packaging is the same. These are sold out on MAC. Go to Nordstrom. This is in the color Selenaville. I love that name. That's beautiful. Here it is. It's, it looks like a deep red. But it goes on pretty light, but you can deepen it up. Now, you're going to say, why did you get the red lip liner, but not the red lipstick? Well, what I like to do is layer different colors on with this. Like maybe a light brown or something. I like to intermix them. But anyways, those are the two lip liners. And I believe those were $18.50. So anyways, if you're looking for this collection... <clears throat> It go to Nordstrom because Mac is sold out of almost everything. And out of everything, what I would recommend, this collection is mostly made up of lip products, first off. Um, but what I would really recommend is to maybe grab like one or two of the bullet lipsticks um, and maybe one or two of the lip glasses 
I mean, depending on what you're in the market for. Um, if you're a collector, this and this is stunning. It's just gorgeous. Um, I, I was very, very pleasantly surprised by this eyeshadow palette. I have to say I very much so recommend it. It's it's gorgeous. It really is. Um, I love the shades in here. This pink one is gorgeous. And this one, I don't think I have anything like this. I'm just going to swatch it again right here. It's just so beautiful and it goes on so so stunning build it up oh my god it's just beautiful so i have to say that i recommend the eyeshadow palette um the highlighter i don't think really is anything special but just for example if this was not a selena collection and it was just this i would not have purchased it and the price point is definitely too high for it. Um, but if you are a collector, then this is definitely a stunning piece. But it is not the first, nor will it be the last you're going to see of this rose shape. It's just not. So I just, I am overall very happy with this collection. I've used MAC lipsticks and the lip liners and all this before and I have to say that it is definitely very much good quality and the eyeshadows I'm shocked because I have bought plenty of MAC in the past where the eyeshadows were really bad and I returned them or just regretted it so I quit buying MAC for a really long time this is the first I bought from MAC in a very long time these are really, really good. Very pleasantly surprised. So I'm just overall impressed with this whole collection. Love it. Stunning. Uh, I'm very happy to have the old collection as well. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you have the old collection? Um, don't go to eBay. They're trying to sell the new collection for absolutely ridiculous prices. Go to Nordstrom. I was just on there. Um, <clears throat> I've also gotten a couple other things. Just small things here and there. I got the Patrick Ta brow thing. And I I was really stupid. And I was trying to use the wax dry. And then I read, duh, you're supposed to wet it. Like, hello. And this this works really great. And then I'm just showing you what I could do videos on. If you want a tutorial or video on the Max Selena collection, let me know. But I got these as well. This is the Sigma Core de Rosa palette. And this has been out for quite a while, but I finally gave in and bought it. This is the Gimme Glow Vintage Rose. Mel Thompson kept recommending it, and I had, I had it broke down. But anyways... I love this collection. Highly recommend it. Let me know if you're going to pick up anything down below or if you already have. And what you guys are up to in this lovely quarantine time. Uh, Disneyland's still closed, obviously. And so I'm, you know, we got furloughed. So I applied for unemployment. <laughs> so it's probably going to be a while before I, if I see anything from there. But, you know, it is what it is as long as we are healthy. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you in my next video.